Good morning, Marshfield. I'm Caroline. And I'm Maddie. Sophomore class will be holding an art contest to pick a design for their class of 2025 t-shirts. The design must show Ram Pride, be school appropriate, and must be emailed to Miss Steele or DM to the class account before February 1st. So that deadline's mm -hmm. coming up. You definitely want to get on that, be mm -hmm. a part of it. Sounds yeah. great. Also, attention seniors, senior night out will take place on March 10th at Indian Pond in Kingston. Tickets are $60 and all seniors are welcome and encouraged to attend. I cannot wait. I'm going to buy my ticket as soon as I can. Me too. I want to get that ticket. Yeah. I'm Gotta ready. Get on that. I am mm -hmm. so ready. And also, tickets will be sold during homeroom and, and at lunch on Monday, February 13th through Thursday, February 16th. Cash or check made out to the town of Marshfield will be the accepted methods of payment. Tickets will not be sold after vacation. So again, you got to keep that mm -hmm. in the back of your head. Mm -hmm. Be ready to buy your ticket. I'm yes. ready. It's, it's going to mm -hmm. be a great time. All right, and the MHS Asian Cultural Society will host a Lunar New Year party January 30th, which I believe is today, um, after school in room 353. All are welcome to attend. Make sure to bring money to buy dumplings, ramen, and compete in a spicy ramen challenge in order to win a prize. Now, I went to the Lunar Party last year, and I had so much fun. When I tell you, you need to go to this. Yeah believe me no yeah i'm definitely gonna have to check it out this year all those things sound so exciting and so fun everybody should go check yeah. it out uh also the ballroom dance club will meet today at 2 15 in the yoga room all are welcome another great club yes. another great way to get involved ballroom mm -hmm. dance who doesn't want to try so that fun. so fun so fun something new mm -hmm. all right in other news the writing lab located in room 338 will be open every block for students seeking help with their writing assignments and revisions. Students do not need to make an appointment, but should create an e-hall pass to attend. During lunch blocks, the lab will be open after 10.52. All right, speaking of creativity, as you know, we have a maker space and we'll tell you all about it in a video made by me, Cody Holbert, Jonathan Bain, and Connor Ware. So let's send it to that. Maker space is open to anyone in the school and you can really use it for any project. It can be for something school related or just for a personal hobby. Inside the Makerspace, um, it's open during most of the school hours. Um, if you go onto the campus page, you can see the dates, um, the schedule for the week and you can see if it's open. So if you have um, study, you can you know come down to the library and come into the Makerspace and take any of the materials out that you want. So I've benefited from using the Makerspace for the last show that I was in. We used the Makerspace to create custom costumes for our show. Um, we used the Cricut machine in there to iron on patterns onto t-shirts and it really helped tell the story of the show. It was great. Makerspace really is for anyone that has a desire to create something for themselves and that sees some sort of value in the tools that the Makerspace provides. As a student, the Makerspace has benefited me by allowing me to pursue projects that really are not accessible to me. Otherwise, I have a lot of tools at home, but I don't have things like a 3D printer. Students can benefit from using the Makerspace because there's so many tools and supplies in there and it's a great place to express your creativity, I would highly recommend it. You know, I've actually found the Makerspace so helpful during our Roadmaps uh -huh. project yes, in, Gov. in Gov. It's been a great opportunity to go down there, collaborate with your group. They have so much supplies, so many mm. materials. Really, the possibilities are limitless down there. Yes. So you should definitely uh -huh. check out the Makerspace. Uh, the MHS Dodgeball Tournament will be held on Thursday, March 16th, immediately after school. So mark your calendars. You need eight p players per team and signups will begin soon. Uh, I have never played dodgeball before, so but fun. it just sounds so much fun. So I think fun. I'm going to have to form a team. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all for news today, and let's send it to sports. sports.
Welcome, Welcome to, sports. to Sports. I'm Liam Cronin. I'm Christian Casali. And uh, let's bump right into it, huh? Um, girls basketball had the uh, pack the gym night against Whitman Hans Whitman or Hingham on Friday. Uh, they won and outlasted them 51 to 50 in an absolute thriller. I was there. I was at the game. It was it was really fun to go. Yeah, good show was, out. Yeah, there Jersey theme, good environment. Yeah. Brought the energy. Yeah, it was a great game. Got to keep bringing the energy to every Shout game. Shout out to the girls. So boys basketball also took on Hingham, and they fell short to a strong Harbourman team. Uh, they have a chance to bounce back tomorrow as they play Duxbury at home. So shout yeah. out the boys. They've been dealing with some illnesses, dealing yeah. with some sicknesses. Yeah, they'll bounce back, though, you 100%. know. 100%. They're facing I, a lot of adversity right I'm, now. I'm not scared. Tough stretch. It. Tough team right there, so. Yeah. And the boys hockey team defeated Silver Lake on Saturday with a final of 4-1. to one. Goals were scored by Sammy Holt, Rylan McLean, Jack Croft, and Tommy Carroll. Also, a big shout-out to Coach Dan Conley for achieving his 350th win. We have a highlight from the boys game against Women Hanson, which was a couple weeks ago, so let's send to that. Yeah. Hey. 901 Shelby Drive, look alive, look alive. Just came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, look dog, we gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys. We up on the other side, is acting like we tied. I been gone since late July, is acting like I died. They won't be expected it when Capo go to slide, cause I told them that we pop behind us. Shout out the boys. Nice they're, little edit right there. Yeah, they're looking tough this year. So they are. They are not losing. Yeah, they're, they're making a run for sure. They look good in all facets. Uh, girls hockey took on St. Joe's Prep on Saturday and won 8-2. to two. Goals were scored by Megan Condon, Charlie Ca Kaylee Campbell, Maya Castrid, Kayla Leonard, Gabby Reardon, Sarah McIntyre. Um, had a hat trick as well to top it all off. So shout wow. out to the girls. That Huge is just, win. Yeah, eight to two. Eight to two. Eight. Me? Eight to two. And the gymnastics team had their senior night match and won 137.15 to 125.4 against Women Hansen. Shout out to the seniors, Lindsay LeBron, Tess Holloway, Jay McNeil, Lindsay DeFreitas, Kelsey Lamond, and Sammy Looney. Mm -hmm. That's a great season for the gymnastics team. Big weekend for the Rams. Yeah. Just a bunch of wins all around across the board. And that's it for today, Marshfield. Check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash before the bells. You can also follow us on Twitter at MSBTV or on TikTok at MSBTV underscore. As always, Marshfield, cough in your elbow and have a marvelous Monday. Let's start the week strong. Status quo.